Hello Internet. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a ratchet strap. So let's get cranking. Okay, so the two most commonly used type of ratchet straps are the open-ended type of ratchet strap. It means it's got one end like that and one end like this. So it's basically two parts with two ends, either hooks or loops or whatever, but it's two parts and it's got the ratchet in the middle. This is the most common type. Now the second most common type um, also is a, a loop type ratchet. So it's basically got one piece of strap which one end is attached to the ratchet, the other end is then inserted into the rabbit and it made a ratchet and it makes one big loop. This is also quite a common one. So, but for today, we are going to focus on the open-ended one. So, we've got the one end here like this and we've got the other end on this side. Now, on both ends, the hooks are secured to secure mounting points inside of the bucket or the truck. So, these are steady. Now I'm going to use the table as an example and this could be anything, it's a table in this case, it could be pieces or sheets of wood or steel or anything really. So the first thing we need to do is, or a common question people often ask is, which way round should the ratchet strap be? Should it be this way round? Should it be that way? And the probably easiest way to remember this is that the handle when upright like this should be away from the item that you're trying to, to ratchet down. Um, and the flatter side should be at the bottom. So this is basically the rule that you need to follow. Secondly, um, what people often do as well with ratchet straps are they don't untangle them when they are with the longer piece like this. So what you need to do first is take the strap, hold it flat in your hand and start only pulling it through, keeping it flat so it doesn't twine or entangle or twist or anything like that. And once you've got the end, then you can insert this into the ratchet. Now, in the middle of this ratchet strap here, there is a shaft with a supply or a, a groove in the middle. So you just need to, to ratchet the handle like this until the groove is accessible from the back so that you can put the strap through it. And once the strap is put through, you can pull it all the way through so that it's fairly tight and it's not dangling loose at the other end. And then the rest of the strap, people also ask, what do I do with the rest of the strap at this stage? And it goes back just above the shaft, through the hole. Not the same one that it came through, just above it. And you can pull it back all the way like that as well. There we go. Now at this stage, once this is pulled fairly tight, not all the way tight, just by hand, this is the time when you can take the ratchet strap and you can simply start ratching it like such and you'll see it starts winding up the strap until it is nice and tight like that. Now in order to be sure that this does not jam up because there's only a limited amount of space between the shaft and the handle. So if you do not pull this tight, this entire strap will be rolling up on the shaft and jam onto the handle basically, which means this will not be tight like it is at the moment, but it will be still loose. Now once this is tight enough, put this out of the way, you can see it's fairly tight, you need to put the handle downwards until it enters a locking position. You'll see it won't be able to lift up now. Now this is fairly secure at this stage. Now the next thing that's very important is that this long piece of strap needs to be tied on somewhere. Um, I've seen and heard of people that leave this dangling around in the wind. Um, it has happened in some cases that this gets caught by a vehicle's wheel or shaft and gets wound up, in which case it can snap the strap and this piece of ratchet can then swing around causing a lot of damage and uh, nobody wants that amount of damage. So very important to tie this up. So let me show you a fairly easy way to tie this up. You basically take the strap like this roll it up nice and flat in a circle quickly roll this up like 
once it's rolled up a circle like that, you basically take this circle, put it on top of the strap that you've, that's coming from that side, and pull the strap through the middle. Once it's through the middle, you put this whole, the, the roll that you've just rolled up, back through that loop that you've just made, and you pull it tight. And once you've done that, this now cannot unroll and it cannot go very far. This is now only dangling a short distance. You can put it underneath the handle or just let it lay here and it won't cause any damage. Once again, when you want to undo this, you just, the loop that you've made now, you just un pull that loose a slight bit and push the whole circle or loop that you've made, the whole roll back through the loop and it's easily unrollable and you can remove it. Now, in order to remove this ratchet strap, it's in the lock position still where we have used it last. In the back of the handle there is a pull button or push button sort of. You need to push it and then lift the handle up. This is to unlock it. And then while still holding it you need to flatten it all the way to the other side until it enters another locking position where it cannot move. Once that is done, the strap that is the that was the tighter part, you can pull on that one and it will unroll the ratchet strap in which case you can simply pull it out of there. Now, there's a number of ways which you can tie down a couple of things or a number of items like planks and so on, on a sheet like this or on a table. Now, for one method or one way, um, this was tied down now, but it was still able to move back and forth, which can be a problem because it can slide back out of the vehicle or off of the vehicle. So, another option, is to bring the one point of the strap over the top of the item or table or plank and the other one from the other side from the bottom and then put the strap through the ratchet again pull it all the way through and put it back as well and once you tighten this again by hand like so you'll see that it's now got one strap at the bottom, one strap at the top, like this, and it's also stopping this from going back and forth. Now this is a slightly bit more unstable, but it will help. Now another thing that is very important in a case like this is to always have a look and remember that when you've got sharp edges, whether it be steel or sharp wood or anything like that, not to have it damage the strap. So, even if it's a piece of cardboard like this, maybe just put that between the sharp edges and the strap. And you can then, once this is pulled through, strap it down again, like this. And you can, obviously, like I've showed you just a moment ago, you can roll this up, which for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to leave it like that. But this is fairly more stable than it was. But if this were a bunch of sheets of wood or plywood or anything like that um, on top of each other, this wouldn't be all that stable. So a very good idea is also to perhaps use this method but from the other direction as well and the other way around. So where this one came from underneath, we are now going to put another strap of another one from this side at the bottom, not at the top again, also from the hooking point, like this. And then on this side, where the previous strap was at the bottom, we're going to put the ratchet at the top again. So it's more, sort of like a mirror image of what's happening on this side. And then once again, you can take the strap through the groove here, and also bring it back, which is very important and then pull it tight. Also, if this were to be anything sharp, like steel or so, we're still having the piece of cardboard here to protect the strap from any sharp edges so it does not get damaged. Let me just flatten the strap here. This is also very important. If the strap gets folded double inside the ratchet like this, it's important to, to pull it out and flatten it before you tighten it because that can cause it not to tighten properly. So once it's flat like that, 
we can once again tighten it and we can also just secure the loose ends now we've got a crisscross motion from both sides so it can't move side to side it can't move back to back or back to front and it's fairly steady now another method that is obviously not the only one but should you not have a strap like that and it's a fairly solid uh, object whatever that you're trying to hold down if you only put one strap over the top like this and you want to keep something to the front you can use a clamp and G clamp would normally work very well I just don't have one on hand now but I'll use this clamp instead just for demonstration purposes and if this clamp is then in place you can use the strap I'm going to use another one here the loop one uh, and we're going to simply from the secure hooking points put the strap through there oh I can't I can't feel it there we go you can put the strap through there through the other side as well then instead of having two straps holding it down like we did in the first place we now only have a rusher strap on top like this and all that this does is we're going to hook it around the clamp a G clamp once again would work much better but this is just for demonstration purposes so we've got the, the rush up there the clamp on the table or on the obstacle that you wish to secure we need to once again put the strap through the groove here in the shaft pull it through pull it back like this and once it's all the way through we can ratchet this into place and with the G clamp and the strap holding it forward this now also will not be able to move backwards this is not very tight at the moment just for demonstration purposes um, but this is also a way if you've got one over the top or only this one to keep it to the front if you don't have anything to keep it down and only want to keep it not moving backwards this is also a very viable option now in once again to release these straps you basically need to once again push that uh, lever open it all the way and then simply pull the straps out and once this is done it's quite easy to remove there we go so if you like these tips and this could help you secure your load or your cargo next time be sure to give me a thumbs up and be sure to like this video and also consider subscribing if you haven't done so yet so until next time thank you very much guys